Let's talk about GCE storage options today. I mentioned I will make a video on this topic in the GCP storage and databases decision tree of the last minute cheat sheet for GCP PCA exam. Google Computer Engine offers several types of storage options for your instances. Disk options for block storage, cloud storage buckets for object storage, and a file store for the file storage. In here, I highlight the keywords of the storage options for the exam. Disk options have a persistent disk, local SSD, and RAM. Persistent disks are durable network storage devices that your instances can access like a physical disks in the desktop or the server. The data on each persistent disk is distributed across several physical disks. When you configure a Zoom or regional persistent disk, you can choose either standard persistent disk, balances the persistent disk or SSD persistent disk. Standard persistent disk is backed by a standard hard disk driver. The other two options are backed by solid state drivers. Local SSD is physically attached to the server that hosts your VM instance. Local SSD has a higher throughput and lower latency than the standard persistent disk or SSD persistent disks. The data that you store on the local SSD persists only until the instance is stopped or deleted. Keywords for the exam are higher throughput, lower latency, data lost if the instance is terminated. With these disk options, you can mount a RAM disk within the instant memory to create a block storage volume with a higher throughput and a low latency. RAM disks work well when your application expects a file system structure and cannot simply store its data in the memory. RAM disks alone do not provide any storage redundancy or flexibility, so it is best to use RAM disks in combination with other instance storage options. Now let's take a look at the object storage. Cloud storage buckets are the most flexible, scalable, durable, and cost-effective storage option for your VM instances. If your apps don't require the low latency or high throughput, then you can store your data in a cloud storage bucket. The last one is a file store that provides high performance file storage. You can mount a NAS file share on a VM instance. Now let's move to the comparison of these storage options. Again, I highlight the keywords to choose the right option for the questions in the exam. Let's look at the capacity. Each persistent disk can be up to 64 terabytes in size, so there's no need to manage areas of disks to create larger logical volumes. Each local SSD is a 375 GB in size, but you can attach a maximum of 24 local SSD partitions, so you, that gives you a total of 9 terabytes per instance. Cloud storage buckets give you almost infinite storage. On the scope of access, you can configure a zone or regional persistent disk. Regional persistent disk Disks provide a durable storage and a replication of data between two zones in the same region. Local SSD provides local block storage directly attached to the VM. 
Cloud storage buckets can provide a worldwide accessibility and worldwide storage locations. Performance, local SSD provides the fastest performance among other disk options. Only persistent disk can be used as boot disks. For example, GCE instance automatically delete boot disks when their instances are deleted by default. So to keep the boot disks after instance deletion, then you should use no boot disk auto delete option to disable. So you can see the command for GCE disk options are gcloud, but for cloud storage bucket is gsutil. Only the local SSD has no data redundancy feature. Computer Engine automatically encrypts your data um, before it travels outside of your instance to any storage options. You can control the encryption keys with your own encryption keys except for the local SSD option. Now you may have the question on which GCP storage options I should pick up for SAN or NAS storage. If you are confused between SAN or NAS, don't worry. Here's the explain. SAN stands for Storage Area Network, which is a tightly coupled network of multiple devices that work with the block-based data. So the persistent disk is a good choice for SAN. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. It's a single storage device that serves files over Ethernet. So you can choose either File Store, Google Cloud Storage, or Persistent Disk for NAS. The cost-effective option should be Google Cloud Storage. If you need to mount file shares on clients in a remote network, then use a file store to achieve, achieve this. The last one is how to transfer the data to GCP. You can use online transfer to move data to uh, Google Cloud Storage via the network. But for big data transfer, such as from on-premise to the GCP, then choose the transfer appliance. Uh, from a cloud to cloud, such as between the the Google Cloud uh, storage buckets from AWS uh, S3 to GCS or HTTPS locations to GCP, then choose the transport service. Please check out my other last minute cheat sheet videos and my blog for more help. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips.